here's the deal. I do not feel pretty like this. I am in my pajamas. And I only put on a bra to film this clip right here. But in order to make myself feel better, I'm gonna go put on makeup and I'll be right back. I'm back. We have chaos here. If you wanna know what it's like to live with a five-year-old, four-year-old, three-year-old, and a one-year-old, and a puppy, come along. I guess we're just gonna clean. I didn't wanna clean and usually cooking is my motivation to clean and I'm really wanting some chicken pot pie. Look at this wilted celery. We don't have any grocery budget left, so I went in my freezer and I found this. So come along with me. The turkey won't be done tonight because it's frozen solid and it's almost noon. But what we're going to do is meal prep some things to go in the meals that I'm cooking with the turkey, such as chicken pot pie, which is really just chopping up a lot of veggies, which is my favorite thing to do, fun fact. But first, we have to clean. Oh. This was kind of a chaotic video. I mean, I'm pretty sure they all are. This day I made a lot of prepping and I did not really come to any conclusions with that prepping in this video. So as we go along, I will tell you what we did, how it went, and all of the things. This was also a busy day. Um, as far as just kids and getting into things, you know how sometimes kids are easy and sometimes they're just really not? Um, that's where we were this day. So here are my kids just snacking away, grabbing all the carrots, peeling them themselves, which is really nice when they can do that themselves, but the amount of peels that they leave in every inch of your home it's just, honestly, I can't even wrap my head around it. So, love that. Love the classic dog food on the floor. But I'll get to that eventually and all the other things that we need to do. In this video, I'm still cleaning up Valentine's Day stuff. I honestly can't even remember how long ago this was filmed. Um, but here we are. I also have candles. Here I am lighting my candles. Can I just say that when you make like 20 candles and none of them smell good, wow, that's defeating, honestly. Did you guys know I have a candle company? Um, by the time this posts, mm, I think I can say that it'll launch this Friday because I'm gonna post this video hopefully tonight, so. Mm, yeah, if you wanna order a candle, let me know. Um, they do smell good now. We had to change our products and the way we were putting the candles together. Um, but yeah. Did I just move everything over to this counter? Yeah, I did. Now let's clean this counter. First of all, if you haven't watched my compost video, you don't have to, but you should, you know? And also, can we just throw in, if you're in here watching videos for free, can you please subscribe? Because I am getting so many more views than subscribers, which I'm sure is normal, but like, come on, pay your dues. But for now, Let's go get the compost box. <laughs> Nothing I love more than some old vegetables. You can't even see what I'm doing. I could be sweeping this onto the floor for all you know. It does not smell good. Is your compost supposed to go bad before you actually bury it? I don't know. I said that I was gonna make dinner and meal prep. And maybe I will. And the tears. I have mixed feelings about this baby right here. There's part of me that just, he has my whole heart, honestly. He's my truest of true loves. Um, but man, he's such a butthead. You know, like, can we just address the fact that kids are freaking buttheads? Oh, but I really love him. I mean, I love all my kids, but he, my youngest there, was the first baby that I successfully nursed. Um, Clara, my second, I nursed her for probably three months um, with some supplementing. But Lukey, my baby... I, nur I nursed him for six months straight, which I know to a lot of people is not that much, but for me, that was the greatest, most beautiful, most wonderful accomplishment of my life. 
Um, and then things went downhill and I had to get on some medication and so I chose to stop nursing him so that we wouldn't have to worry about like conflict of medication and breast milk and all that. But I tell you what, and I do not mean this in any negative way. I could not nurse my first one. I had no milk. I had no supply. I think it was my stress levels of having my first baby. I just could not figure out how to nurse her. My second one, I nursed her, like I said, three months with supplementing because I had a little bit of milk, but I also had the supplement. And then I ended up getting pregnant and ran dry overnight. Um, my third, I could not breastfeed. I tried and tried. He had a tongue tie, which we clipped. Um, I tried and tried, but that poor little baby, if you look back on pictures of him, he was so skinny. I was so silly to keep trying. I just never really could nurse. So the fact that I made it six months with my youngest was just such a feat. And honestly, we bonded. We bonded so much quicker than me and my other kids. And I mean, I hate to say that. I really hate to say that. Um, because there are a, are a lot of moms who choose not to breastfeed or can't breastfeed. Um, even more so than I couldn't. But I don't know. And this one right here, she's my second I also bonded with her a little bit more quickly <laughs> than with my other two. And that's not to say that I don't love my other two and they're not equally as important and I don't, they're not equally as bonded with me now, but it did take time. And I believe that that was, the difference was my ability to breastfeed versus not. Um, so that was kind of a hard pill to swallow the first time and if I have more kids I definitely want to try and breastfeed some more and anyway we're getting on a tangent here I am you just watched me prep onions celery um bell peppers and I put all of those into a big bowl and mix them together for two different meals um uh, actually three different meals but two different types um part of them was for this lasagna which I already had frozen cooked ground beef in my fridge I mean my freezer, which is just a lifesaver. If you don't pre-cook your meat and then freeze it, you're not treating yourself the way that you should. Um, anyway, I made a lasagna. I forgot to put any real cheese in it, and you'll see that at the end. There's just some mozzarella cheese right on top that I slapped on last minute. Um, it wasn't that good. Here I am making a the pot pie ingredients, and I made enough for two pot pies. So I added to what I already had the carrot, I mean the onions and the bell peppers. I added carrots and I boiled some potatoes. Um, these sweet potatoes that I'm making are for something else, which I don't think is in this video. Actually, I think, no, 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 it's not. It's in another video. Um, but I cooked these sweet potatoes and had them just sitting in the fridge so that the next day when the turkey was done, I made two pot pies. And then when the sweet potatoes were done, I actually made sweet potato muffins, which are in another video that I haven't even edited yet. Um, but that's what those were for. Here's my cutest baby in the whole wide world. He's having second dinner. Here's my two, I mean my four-year-old and my two-year-old. Is it even a day if someone doesn't get lipstick on their face and the other one isn't bouncing off the walls? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and I'll see you later.